So we have got another upgrade day, and it is unfortunately not going to be player picks this time around. It's going to be a 78 double. So we did see the 77. Obviously, it was an 80 and a 75 plus last week. Now we've got the 78 plus. Now, I was kind of expecting to get some sort of player picks at some point. I can imagine that's going to be next week now. So let's go over the best ways if they are worth it and also... Are they completely available to be done unlimited amount of times? Now, the big thing is, again, it is six rare. So that's going to be one big feature from these, unfortunately. So you're going to have to put in a lot of rares. The only good thing is we have still got the SBC storage. So if you are following the methods each week, then you should be able to grind out quite a few for absolutely minimum sort of effort here. So obviously, we'll go for our untradables first. That is kind of the number one thing you want to do. Anything untradable goes into the upgrade and if it not then obviously you want to be keeping them uh, kind of tradable stuff and selling for the profit and then you can hopefully get more untradable because that is practically what the game is um, obviously with that it's it's all about just grinding out as many packs as you humanly can possible when it comes to double upgrades a lot of the time they're semi worth it you might find some people that do really well with them Sometimes you probably won't. So we're going to hit Spanish right mid. La Liga. Is that going to be Yamal? I'm assuming it is going to be. Looks like him. Or maybe not. It's Atletico. Oh, Loriente. Okay, that's pretty cool. If you need coins in FC25, lootbar.gg has you covered. They are the cheapest trading platform on the game. 8 to 10% cheaper than any others. 8% off if you use the code JT11 at the end at checkout. Plus, you get 5% extra on coins. With the fastest delivery system going. Used by many FC25 creators such as Zorki, Manny Plus, and even Pro Owners. So if you need any coins, head over to lubar.gg. Make sure JT11's in the promo code and... Hopefully you enjoy. But they are obviously going to go in with the duplicate storage anyway. Um, in terms of packs, we've got nothing. And also SBCs, we've got very little. I think we got a Wobi today. Um, there is a lot of SBCs to be grinded out. And that's kind of the reason now we need a, a, any sort of big upgradable SBC to really come through. I don't know if the 78 double is going to be the one that that happens with. So far, the very first one, we managed to get an 83 at a minimum. They are definitely going to be worth grinding at the minimum because there is no other SBCs available to do that. So I would definitely be suggesting to try and do as much as you can with it. Obviously, with the SBC storage, utilize the rares. You don't need to obviously go with uh, the commons. They can be just from your club. And don't put in 11 rares. You definitely want to be trying to do as many of the, the kind of requirements as minimal as possible. So you want the five uh, commons in and you want the six rares in. You don't want to be doing 11 rares every time because that's two SBCs you can do. The gold commons are pretty simple to get. So definitely on that case, do that 100%. The big thing as well is we only get them for three days, which is the same as every week at the moment until we get that changed. It hopefully will be that we do get them for seven days at some point. We're going to get German CDM. Bundesliga, that could be anybody's. It's not Goretzka. No, it's... I don't even know, to be honest. Oh, of course, Andrik. Um, Walkout-wise, at the minute, I think we've... Uh, oh, that's weird. <laughs> Both Leverkusen. It is seems to be a, kind of a big thing with these upgrades is that you just don't get a lot of walkouts. And, and to be honest, I don't really do that many. I think uh, I really just play the rewards now at the moment. Squad battles, rivals, and obviously champs. And you do get a decent amount of packs back. The storage is just haven't really been worth it. I use my SBC storage fodder because naturally that's the kind of only reason why you've got it. Um, so that's number one in that case. And then once I've done that, I'll then potentially use any untradables that I've got. But tradable stuff does, uh, it, it's just, it's hot cake at the moment. You don't get a lot of tradable stuff. So that always just goes. And once I'm out of my untradable, we can grind it out as much as possible if you want. Now, after this one, this is the, well, the third, the best, I'm hoping. Uh, but I'll show you kind of the ways that I would have to grind this out untradable uh, unlimited amount of times because there is only a couple of ways that you can do it at this moment in time until we get the exchange we get another upgrade that goes on or anything that does lighten the load a little bit so the final one for the third one we are going to get no walkout shock it's going to be striker italiano it's going to be i don't even know who that is oh 
why did I not think of a Mobley? Of course he's moved. We got the two strikers, so pretty standard. 83s, 82s. It's kind of the standard that you get. Maybe you, you look out and get an 84 and 85. Walkouts are going to be quite difficult still, but sometimes you might get a bit lucky. Now, the way that you want to grind this out. At the minute, there's there's kind of like three ways that you can do. The first way, which I'm not going to show you because it's just pointless in my eyes, is buying all the cards. Now, personally for me, I don't like that. I don't think it's a great idea. I just wouldn't do it. That is, is kind of one of the ways you just go buy a load of rares. You could buy a load of commons and just fill them that way. That's an easy way. It's the... I'd say it's the second quickest way, obviously, because the first way would be to just go buy store packs. Now, there's not necessarily an infinite amount unless you're going for the gold, uh, the premium golds, but you can go buy your rare players, your prime golds, your premium golds, uh, provision. You've got 45 commons and 45 rares you can do. Obviously, that's the reason why they're here. So that is another way. That's the quickest way to get a certain amount. You can obviously then open the premium golds. Personally, I just wouldn't try that. I, I, as much as, yes, that is fine to do. If you want to do that, then by all means. I'm, I'm not saying to go do it, but if you are going to do it, fair enough. Like It's going to be a way that you can utilize, but I would always recommend untradeable. If it's tradable, sell it. The value of coins will be massive during the Black Friday promo. We saw it through Thunderstruck last year. Definitely stick to untradeable as much as possible. Now, the longest way and the free way to get this done completely unlimited is by doing the bronze to silver to gold. It's it's a very simple method. Um, it really costs you very little to no coins. And most of the time, I'd say a solid 95% of the time, you are going to make coins back through the whole process. You may not see it to begin with. You might not see it like a week after because a lot of the time, if you're doing these upgrades, obviously you're having to look for all these players. I know full well, none of these are gonna sell for anything. So realistically, I've spent 500 coins on players that you wouldn't, you can minimum only spend 200 on. We get another duplicate there. I think we got the same card by the, oh no, we weren't. Um, we didn't get the same card, but then you wanna look at major leagues. You wanna look at some major nations depending on who they are. And then you obviously want to look at some of the off leagues, depending on marquee matchups. That's going to be the biggest uh, kind of sign for anything. Marquee matchups is going to be great for the BPM to be able to make you some coins. Um, obviously, when it comes to this, you're mainly looking for managers at this point. They sell like hotcakes. So they're one thing to really have a look for because they will make you the coins. Sometimes the rares can be worth something. Um, a lot of the time, what I do with rares is I just leave them in the club. And once we get an SBC, an objective that requires as rares then obviously that's going to be when they're worth something and you just offload all of your rares from then so the amount of rares you keep in the club right now is perfect for the later approach obviously right now it just looks like i've lost two three four five ten fifty k but realistically it's a build all of the rares that I've got in the club that are tradable, they are an investment that later on, if the rares go to, we've seen them all go to a thousand before at a minimum. And if you times that by a hundred, your 50k loss has then turned into 50k profit. It is that easy and simple to do. You have to actually sell them though. That's the big thing. It's not just going to sell itself. So definitely keep your uh, kind of your ears to the uh, as it is to the ground when everything is going up in value. Sometimes marquee matchups can require a certain league. That again is going to be fantastic. Some managers don't sell, obviously, but like American managers at the moment for them, links are going to be great. And um, we saw last uh, week with the Spanish players, they were brilliant for marquee matchups. Some of them going for two to three thousand in the first hour because of the marquee matchups. You managed to sell three, four, five of them. You've paid for three packs every single time you sell one. So that's just kind of like a little bit of uh, background on actual BPM. Um, obviously, if you want to check the channel out, I've got a full video on it. And as we go into kind of like the Black Friday sort of stuff with the SBCs, I'll do a kind of a makeup video where we go over it again and we explain more of the profits in the future of Flash SBCs. So once you've done all your BPM, you've got your club in some sort of order. That is when you want to go then to the bronze upgrades. And the one thing that I'm saying here is this is not quick by any any stretch of the imagination. It's a long, slow process, 
but that is why it's unlimited because you can do it as much as you want and as long as you want. You've got three days to do as much as you can um, and, and that's it. So basically from here, you want to do your bronze upgrade. Um, what I would suggest is companion app or obviously the mobile app because or web app and companion app because you want to put in bronze common. You want to keep all your rares. You don't want to utilize them if they are tradable because they're going to be your profit later on as well as anything that you have sold in the meantime or so. So once you've opened up these, you then obviously get the silver players. These are obviously to go into the silver upgrade if you've not figured that out already. And then you just keep grinding from there. So obviously with a silver grind at this point, you then get free common gold. Uh, or is it two common gold or free? I'm pretty sure it's free. Uh, you get free common gold. What you want to do from there, once you've done the silvers and done all of your silvers from the bronzes into there, you then go into the gold upgrade. So this is mainly to get the rares. Because you need six of them, it makes it a little bit more tricky with actually getting the uh, the commons because obviously, oh, the rares, sorry, because you need so many of them. So as you can see here, we've obviously got a lot of rares at the low end. That's going to be fantastic. But this is where you want to use as much as your commons can really hold there. So this is kind of where you put all of your duplicates or your normal untradeable gold commons and this is where you're going to get your two rares from so this does give you technically another shot at actually getting a decent player maybe a walkout again it's not necessarily likely it's just another chance that you've got to do it so that's going to be the grind to get the rares once you've got the rares, you can then either stop at a couple of silver commons and get every two packs, you'll get at least five gold commons. So you can then obviously grind them out. Then you can put the six rares in. You can then put the five commons in that you got from the silver pack. And you could just keep grinding like that. That obviously does work. Um, or you can go buy the commons at that point. If you've done the rares, then maybe you just want to buy the commons. Once then you've got the upgrade pack. So for instance, the 78 uh, double, you will then potentially have two cards that can come back into the SBC, meaning that you only need four to grind it out. So that's obviously another good way is that if you do get not necessarily great cards, they just go straight back into the SBC. No matter the rating, they will absolutely work. So that's gonna be perfect if you don't get anything good. Now, obviously everybody wants something good, so you pray that you do. <laughs> it's quite a simple one really with that one. So obviously this is another one. But then once you kind of grind around, it's just the process again. You start the BPM if you need more bronzes and then you need more silvers. Then you grind the silvers into the golds and it's just a revolving door. Like I say, it's not it's not the fastest and it don't get me wrong, it is tedious. But if you're not buying coins, you're not buying packs, then this is going to be the best way that you can do it for as much as possible. Because obviously, if you go and buy packs... There'll be a certain amount of uh, points that you're willing to spend, a certain amount of coins. Same with buying the players. There's only going to be so many coins that you truly can buy. Whereas this method with the bronze packs in general, you will never run out of coins at, at a certain level. Obviously, if you've got 10k, there is a chance. But if you've got 100k, you're selling, you're constantly going over managers. There's a very limited chance. Uh, kind of chance that you'll actually lose out on that. So then you just keep grinding it round. It's as simple as that. There's uh, kind of not too much more to it. Let me know down below if you managed to get any from anybody good. We've done four and not really seen anything great. So I'm interested to see how well these do turn out. But that's going to be everything. Let me know down below how you get on and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.